Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Salesforce to Snowflake in 2024. Of course, integrating Salesforce data with Snowflake allows you to leverage advanced analytics and also some data warehousing capabilities. So today, we'll walk you through a step-by-step -step guide to set up this integration very easily. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into the video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need, of course, to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave for you, you can use whatever you want. Go then to the URL section, type basically sales like force.com and hit the enter button. Of course, if you have any issue in the language like this, you can simply just delete the last here and type EU, which is Europe instead you'll find yourself in English or you can simply just go and hover this icon right here then if you are in Europe of course just select all other countries if you are in America choose whatever you want or Asia Pacific choose whatever you want from here of course other than that you'll have to go and hover login and click on Salesforce here to login into your account if you have one if you don't have one instead click on try for free and you'd like to go and create a new account as simple as that of course so even if you click on try for free you'll be taken to the same page you'll basically have to answer nine questions and you'll get a 30 days free trial and no obligations no payments and no credit card required so you don't have to worry about anything just answer those nine questions and you should be good to start your trial of course you can even go with salesforce like a demo if you want to you can go and create account here to just test things out before even going through your 13 days free trial of course because you cannot get it again just go and follow that and and get to your demo and you should be good to go of course if you go and open your uh, tab now and just go and type like snowflake hit the enter button as you can see you can go to this url section of course to be taken to their website here you can simply just go and click on start for free and once you click on it You'll be able, to, of course, to log in into an account if you have one, as an example, from here, sign into an existing account. And if you don't have an account, basically just go back and start creating your account. For example, for me, I, have, I don't have an account here. I'll just go and create an account right away, of course. So I don't know if it will work this as a company email because it's a personal email. So, okay, it's, it worked. So I'll just name it like, like this. Why not? Roll. Uh, I don't know, just do students here. And of course, if you check this option, as you can see, no, I do not want Snowflake to send me emails about products, services, and events that it's think may interest me. As an example, so if you don't want to receive some marketing emails and etc., just check this option. And if you click on continue, of course, you agree to the privacy notice. So make sure to read it out before you click on continue. Of course, if you care. Then as you can see, choose your Snowflake edition. As you can see, there's the standard option, which is a strong balance between features level of support and cost. You have enterprise standard plus 90 days trial uh, or 90 days like uh, travel time, multi-cluster, warehouses and materialized views and business critical, which is enterprise plus enhanced security data protection and database uh, failover and fall back as you can see you can choose also your cloud provider which is microsoft azure or amazon web service or google cloud platform whatever suits you of course for me here i'll choose standard and i don't know just choose google cloud platform why not and of course here you'll have to choose like kind of the one that you want uh, to use of course if you choose like other uh, other than this as you can see you'll have other stuff other choices like if you choose microsoft azure you'll have other choices in here as well so example i'll just choose this and all this on london like uh, europe west and as you can see check here to indicate so that you have read and, and agreed to the terms of uh, like the snowflake sales uh, service on demand example so make sure to read them out and here as you can see it may take some time then click on get started as you can see some captcha in here that will needs to be done click on verify as you can see thank you thank you for signing up with snowflake as you can see help us better save you of course if you want to answer those questions it's up to you if you don't just click on skip an example for me why are you uh, signing up for a trial example so personal learning development why not in here uh, okay i'm not going to read all of that so i'll just skip this example select your preferred language to work in so example uh, no coding language experience as simple as that then click on submit as an example here uh, an email and to activate your account has been sent you'll have to click on it of 
course, it may take some few uh, minutes to arrive. If you didn't receive it, you'll have just to be patient. And in the meantime, of course, you can watch a quick video to get started, to know how to get started using Snowflake, a virtual hand on lab, and also a full Snowflake documentation, of course, if you want to see it. So it's up to you. Of course, for me, at the moment, I'll just go to my email provider here, which is Gmail in my case, and I'll check if they send me the email. As you can see, so they sent me one here. So click here to activate. I'll just go and activate it. And as you can see, the activating link will temporarily, uh, it's temporarily and it will be expired in 72 hours, which is basically three days. So make sure to do not uh, like uh, click on it after that. And as you can see, you can save for later. Once you activate your account, you can access at this link. So example, here you'll have to choose a username and password to get started as an example. So for me, I'll just choose Omics as a username. Password as an example, just go and create this password because it should at least contain one number, this is a special character, and one uppercase character and lowercase character. Then, of course, you'll have to go and confirm that password. So I'll just go and delete that, and it should be good to go. Now it should be matching, and then click here on Get Started, of course, to create an account, and then I should be able to connect these two together. So you can see here, you can simply just get started and see how to explore, like, and sample data sets or load data into uh, Snowflake. If you want to know, just go and click on Start, whatever you want. As you can see, you can load data from local files, from some uh, cloud storage, or from, a, uh, like, a partner connection. So if you click on this partner connection, as example, so you have here some options. Of course, you can just look for whatever you want as example just look for salesforce as you can see there's no salesforce in here so of course you can just go again to the marketplace here and look again for sales force and see if there is any like thing that you can connect from it okay nothing here what about some data if you go here and yeah i'll just go and click on add data as you can see a lot of connectors here click on more connectors example and look again for salesforce let's see if we can establish this connection from here example so as it's seen in here example you have this omnata salesforce plugin that will let you sync for salesforce crm so if you go and click on it as you can see you'll be able to click on get and once you click on get of course as you can see once the app is ready an email will be sent so click on okay as you can see so it's getting ready for you and they will send you an email of course as you can see it will be starting from three dollars a day and you will get a 30 days free trial so if you're trying just to get some data to connect it just once like forever it will be good to you as we said because it will be 30 days free trial and of course you can also start the connection from salesforce if you want to you'll have to prepare the data set up the snow uh, like account uh, snowflake account create a database and schema set up an external likes uh, stage for data uh, loading uh, load the data into snowflake and a lot of other stuff you, of course you can even automate the data integration and some st other stuff of course, there is even an option to automate stuff using the Zapier option. You basically have to go and type like Salesforce here. Of course, you can just go to zapier.com and create an account if you don't have one or log in if you want. You just go here and click on connect to connect to your Salesforce. And same will be for Snowflake. Here, just go and click on connect to connect to your uh, uh, Snowflake. Then simply just go and create a Zap. And of course, you can simply use the AI here and tell them what you want to connect or automate with each other. And he will basically, or the AI will create a trigger in action and everything for you. All you need to solve is simply some few uh, options here or change whatever you want. And you should be good to go with publishing it and it will be automated. Of course, you can create a limited. So don't worry. You can uh, like automate a limited stuff. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.